that made us the very first private company to launch orbit and recover from orbit a spacecraft. Only five countries in the European Space Station have done that before us. Now NASA, now with the end of the shuttle program, SpaceX is going to start carrying cargo <coughs> to and from the International Space Station for NASA. We have a $1.6 billion contract for 12 missions. At the end of this year, we're going to do our last test flight where the next Dragon space capsule is going to go up and hopefully uh, that will allow us to berth with the International Space Station before we start all of these cargo flights going up. In April of this year, NASA gave us a contract for $75 million to upgrade the Dragon capsule so that it could carry astronauts with a really cool launch port system. That's what Garrett is working on. The only other thing I would mention is that we also have a lot of commercial customers. So SpaceX launches uh, a lot of telecommunication satellites, satellites for uh, all kinds of buyers. We're bringing back launches to the United States. Yes. A lot of the launch business has left the United States, the commercial launch business, in recent years because prices have been really high. And uh, that includes, just so you know, it's not a side business, that includes a $492 million contract with Iridium, the satellite phone maker, to launch their next generation of satellites. Um, that $492 million contract for Iridium is the largest single commercial launch deal ever signed. So with that, if you have more questions about SpaceX, feel free to ask me. If you have questions about that Dragon in there, I was here for launch and I met it on the dock in California when it came back. So if you want to talk about what is this burn mark, what is this big hole, what are you going to do with this? Can I go inside? No, you can't. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm happy to answer all of those questions, and Garrett will talk to you about carrying astronauts. Thanks. So, um, my name is Garrett. I was a NASA astronaut four months ago. Uh, and I, I left NASA and uh, came to work at SpaceX. And then uh, on my first day in the job, uh, Elon asked me if I would mind uh, being the project manager for CC Dev 2. Does anybody know what CC Dev 2 is? Yeah. Oh, wow, you guys, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, well, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, CCDev2 is, a, is a, a program with um, a, a, a project run by the commercial Excuse me? Crew, um, office here at, at KSC. And what it's really all about is trying to uh, get a commercial company uh, ready and able to carry people into space. And so we got a good head start uh, because we've got the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon capsule, which are designed from the very beginning to carry people. And, uh, and, and designed in very technical ways to carry people. For example, the factor of safety that was designed into the Falcon 9 rocket was 1.4 for structural uh, elements. And uh, you don't have to do that to just launch a satellite. You can actually uh, use a, a much smaller factor of safety and save money. But we didn't, because we want to carry people. Uh, the number of uh, the redundancy in the avionics, we plan to have three strings of avionics. So that the vehicle could be human rated. Again, you don't need that to, to carry satellites. And that means backup systems. Redundancy means if the first system fails, you have a second and a third. So, uh, right, so, so if you, if you uh, look also at the Dragon capsule, you'll see it's got windows. I never met any cargo that needed to look at the window. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots of things we've been doing from very, very beginning, uh, which makes my job real easy, because what my job is, is to convert this cargo ship into a ship capable of carrying people. And the biggest thing that that's missing that uh, people tend to like is uh, a, a launch abort system. So the ability to get away from the booster rocket if uh, something is happening bad on, on Essen. And uh, just like in the old days when they had that tower on top where that would, uh, that would pull the capsule away if the, if the Saturn V was having a problem, uh, we're going to do the same thing. Except that we're going to do it in a, in, a, in a much better way. What we're going to do is we're going to mount those engines on the side of the capsule. So they push the capsule away rather than a tractor system that pulls the capsule away. And the nice thing about that is uh, you can use it again. You don't throw it away. Th those towers, after a couple minutes, whether it's on the Soyuz rocket or on the Saturn V or the Mercury, those towers have to be, uh, you know, once you get out outside of the, the uh, thick air, you have to uh, jettison those towers. And so jettisoning those towers is kind of like using your ejection seat in your, in your airplane every single flight. It mm. has to go right. If that tower doesn't come off, then you're having a very, very bad day inside that capsule. So the, the beautiful thing about uh, the launch abort system we're designing is 
Uh, you don't need to have it go right every single time, but it's there if you need it. And you can reuse it, and you carry it with you the whole time, so that you have the ability to do an abort all the way until you're in orbit. Uh, even Apollo didn't have that. And then uh, the other thing is it has the ability that the, the, the amount of thrust you need and the control systems you need to, to do that also are the same kind of things you need to land propulsively. What I mean by that is you guys know how the, the lunar module landed on the moon? It used a little retro rocket and it kind of came like that. Don't quote me on that. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the term, yeah. So, so uh, we're going to be able to do the same thing here on Earth using the engines that we would have used for an abort. If you're having a, 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 a nice flight up and everything's going well, you can use those same engines to land. And then you can take this, this uh, dragon and land it like on an area of a uh, helipad, uh, which will make a nice, nice gentle uh, return to Earth. So uh, that's the main focus of what we're doing now. But we're also looking at all the other things you need for people, like life support systems. People like, you know, less carbon dioxide, more oxygen in their air. Uh, people <laughs> like uh, like a, uh, you know, something to eat. Uh, and people also like seats, they like spacesuits. People like uh, the ability to control the spacecraft. So that's, that's all the other things that we're working on right now concurrently with the launch abort system. And that's what keeps me busy uh, when I'm not at Tweedups. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> So with that, that's kind of an overview of uh, what I'm what I'm doing, and I'd be happy to take any questions you got. Yep. In terms of uh, crew.